Okay, welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. So we're back out here at my little test area out by the cemetery. We're going to do some testing of the Spark. We got a little bit better weather today. Last time we were out here, we were kind of fighting some thunderstorms. What we're going to do today is um, actually experiment a little bit with some of the intelligent flight modes of the Spark. Because I kind of want to see how they perform. There are some videos out there that show you know them working but I want to have a little bit more detail on how they work so I'm gonna go ahead I've got satellites here everything is set up um, actually I'm gonna start my screen recording and uh, screen recording is starting so I'm going to go ahead I'm gonna take this guy up so I'm gonna go ahead lift it up I'm going to take it up a little bit higher. Do my walk around. Really stable today. I'm really uh, a lot better than the last time I had it out. So uh, make, make Robert happy. I'm going to yaw it around because I do think that's a good idea to kind of test its, uh, its responsiveness. And again, this is full stick yawing. So uh, that's actually uh, pretty slow. Now I have it out of sport mode intentionally. So again, I just want to do a little bit of walk around. I also use this uh, also in editing. Now here comes the car, you know, that, that just goes to figure. So part of this is I want to do this in... Uh, I want to do this in sport mode. So I'm going to turn this back around to me. I am going to, I want to start video. Notice it's, uh, it's uh, changed the screens on this. So I'm going to go into my intelligent flight modes and I want to, what do I want to do? Um, so normal, Well, actually, I'm going to turn this back around the other way. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it up a little bit, and I'm going to do uh, tap to fly. So one of the things is I'm just going to have it fly straight out. So I tapped it. Um, let's see. Let's have it fly over that way. Tap flight ended. No, it didn't end. So I go, go, and it's flying out that way. Now, supposedly, I can touch it, and it'll change. And it's flying out that way. Now, you notice that's really smooth. So now there's a stop button, so I'm going to stop it. And then I'm going to bring it back towards me. So this is interesting. So as you see, I'm bringing it back. This thing doesn't go outside of sport mode. It is pretty slow, actually. Um, well, it's picking up speed there. So let's see. Let's yacht. Let's have it fly this way a little bit and see. So I tap it. So it's saying my zone is not valid. Tap a valid zone to choose. So I must, must have to go higher. So let's tap that. Tap to fly. I wonder why that's not... Uh, it's supposed to tap the second icon. And my phone rings. Joe speaking. Yeah, I'm in the middle of flying this thing right now. I mean, okay, so I'm in, I'm having an issue with uh, selecting the flight mode. So let's just fly it out that way on its own. Then let's bring it back. It seems to drop in altitude a little bit when I do that. So 
So let's go back and try this again. So I hit tap to fly. I hit that. It says it's not a valid. Switching coordinates is made easy. So I'm not sure why this is giving me the problem it is. So uh, I'm going to have to do a little bit more figuring out on this one. Let's turn it back this way and see if there's something that it doesn't like in the... Uh... Nope, it says tap to choose a valid zone. It, uh... it doesn't... doesn't seem to let me choose a zone. So uh, let's try something else. Let's go back in here and let's go back into tripod mode. So tripod mode, flight mode, speed control sensitivity will be reduced for shooting. Never show again. Okay. So I think I'm in tripod mode. So I think the idea, it is, it is performing a lot slower. You know, that's one of the things. I think this would be a great urban explorer uh, copter. Because again, with, its, with tripod mode and its sensors, because one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to walk in front of it. Notice, notice it's indicating that there's an obstruction in front of it. So this is actually pretty cool. So that's only with the cameras that it's doing that. So again, if I take this sort of out forward, it's really going slow. So one of the things I want to see is uh, I want to take this over here. Wow. Man, it's slow. It really is. But I think that's probably a good thing because let's let's go over here. And one of the things I want to see if I can do with it is is really let's let's turn it around. Notice I'm full sticking it and how slow it's turning. So it's creating a pan as it goes or goes around now now that's interesting now what I want to do is I'm going to lower this to the ground I want to see I want to see if I can get it real low to the ground so I'm like about three feet off the ground and I want to see if this holds like a tripod because I got, I have probably about a three to four mile an hour gust, and so far it's doing pretty good. And uh, I mean, yeah, it's holding. So I like tripod mode. Let's let's move it out a little bit. And like I say, I'm only about three feet three feet up. But look, look at how that's just kind of moving on through. Look at that. I tell you, this is going to be a great YouTube drone. I mean, look at this video. I'm just watching if there's any cars because I'm about car height. So I'm going right underneath that tree. And so I'm going to turn this back around. And so I'm going to bring it now back towards me because the battery's getting pretty low. Yeah, I'm getting about 25%, so it's going to probably try a return to home pretty soon. The interesting thing is I can barely see it. So one of the things I want to do, I'm pretty close. What I want to do is I want to issue a return to home. I want to see what happens. I've now pressed the return to home button and nothing's happening. I'm going to stop tripod mode. I'm going to confirm this. And now I'm going to hit return to home and see what happens. Lower charge limit reach. Aircraft will adjust its altitude according to the fail safe. So it's initiating low power return to home. Now I think I've got it set to 120 feet to return to home. So I want to make sure that this actually does do a return to home. So it's now gone up to 120 feet. 
And it appears to be coming back to the landing pad. And it appears to be coming down, I hope. Coming down kind of fast and it's making some odd noises. I just want to see. I can't read. I think I'm about 19% on the battery. Let's see. We took off from that yellow pad. Let's see how close it gets. Uh, it's actually getting pretty close. I'm going to bump it a little bit so it ends up on the pad. And uh, I had to bump it just a tad bit, and uh, so the return to home did pretty good. It made some strange noises while coming down, and I think you saw it probably shake a little bit. I want to make sure I save out the video. So I've saved the video. I want to make sure the same thing with the screen recording. I don't know where the screen recording button went. Let me uh, end the DJI Go app. I think it's up there. There. So I stopped the screen recording. So uh, I had a pretty good flight. Now I still can't figure out a little bit of that tap to fly. Why it was giving me, um, uh, you know, an invalid zone. So I'm going to have to go back and look at that a little bit. Tripod mode. I think that is really cool. I think I'm going to have some fun with that. I still have to figure out uh, rocket and droney. I was looking for those. I thought they were in that. Um, uh, section but I couldn't find them so I'll have to try those in another video so anyways if you found this interesting give it a thumbs up subscribe is going to be coming up over there and uh, hey uh, if you got any comments hit me up below and we'll see you in the next video cheers